But me being into streaming, it was actually, I used to really look up to this one streamer. His name was Etika, and his uh, YouTube was called Etika World Network. And he was a very uh, charismatic guy. He was very impressionable. He, I would literally be having like the worst day possible, but a single stream from him would just make my day instantly better. But sadly, he passed away in 2019. And in order to keep his like memory alive, I decided to start streaming because of that. And the feeling that he made me feel is something that I want to give to other people, that sense of joy and like sense of belonging to a community. That really like attracted the sense of streaming. So that's why I stream. One of the cool things about streaming is that you get to meet people like online that you would never have met if it wasn't for streaming. Like I literally met people in California. I live in New Jersey, by the way. I've met my friends in California, and I call them friends because we're more than online friends now because we actually met up in person. It just like shows the power of like internet friends and how deeply it could go. I mean, making money online is uh, fun and all, but it's to the point where like if people send you money as a sense of donation, as a sense of gratitude, that like is a really good feeling because. I'm literally just streaming, talking and yelling about playing a video game or something, or talking about something random, and then people are giving me money for it. It's just a really like humbling feeling to know that like you have just speaking words to a camera can equate to money being into my bank account. It's, it's an astonishing feeling. I've lived with Liam for two years now, so he's been streaming the whole time I've known him, and Almost every night I could probably hear him through the walls. It's not loud enough where I'm like, okay, Liam, stop talking now, but it's definitely loud enough where I'm like, I can hear him like scream if, you know, he's playing a game or, you know, someone subs or donates money to him and I'll hear the, yes, oh my God, right? Like I'd hear that quite often, but other than that, he's, he's pretty quiet. Howdy, babe. Hello. Welcome to the stream. I know, right? Surprise. This may or may not be in our YouTube video. I don't know. We'll see. In order to grow on Twitch, you must diversify your platforms because it is nearly impossible to grow on Twitch by itself. And I've tried making multiple TikToks before and all that stuff, but this time I decided to use something differently and uh, start cosplaying because, you know, I do do modeling and I like video games. So combine the two, what do you get? Cosplaying. So one other reason that I cosplay was to grow my Twitch. As a newbie, um, I tell people I've been cosplaying for five months at conventions. They're like, wow, really? I'm like, yeah. They're like, wow, for five months you look pretty good. I'm like, thank you. So it's better than being positive and whenever I ask for help, they always help me. And it's really good to have a good cosplay circle just because those friends that you make in the beginning are usually gonna stick with you uh, throughout your whole journey. First, I like introduced him to a lot of the products, um, like you know what foundation is, what concealer does, um, what different eyeshadow like shades do to your eyes, um, you know how to have like a more steady hand when he does like eyeliner looks if he wants it for his makeup looks, um, and so it was just a lot of trial and error, um, I'd say. Like, I would do a lot of his makeup looks at first, um, and then I would have him, like, do it by himself most times, and he got a hang of it. I am half Filipino, half Irish Danish, and I would love to represent my mixed uh, ethnicity into the world of cosplaying, because I'm already doing a modeling, right? But I also want to do it in cosplaying, to see that anyone can cosplay no matter what you are, or no matter what you look like. The only person that is gonna let me achieve my goals is myself, which is why I try to work as hard as I can at as many things as I can because I only live once and anything can happen the next day where I may not be able to do one thing or the other based on like an accident, for example. So you never know what's gonna happen. So all the goals that I have now, I try to accomplish. And if I don't, I do not want to live in regret not doing it.